Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed and today I'm going to show you how to print with a rainbow roll. This is sometimes called a split fountain, particularly in letterpress printing. We're going to use it for relief printing today. Making a rainbow roll is where you fade from one colour to another on the same roller and then ink up with it so you get a lovely um, graduated colour in your print. For this demonstration I'm going to use the same blocks that I made in my last um, video from last week um, where we did a jigsaw liner cut so I made these these blocks. If you'd like to see how I made those go back a video to um, last week's and, and see that. Um, this is a technique that builds upon um, creating one print but with several colours in it without having to have multiple blocks and without having to do layers on top of one another. So I'm going to show you how to do it. For this print, I'm going to be using Cranfield Caligo Safe Wash Relief Inks, which look like this. These are um, the, our studio's very well-used uh, tubes. I've got the three process colours here that I'm going to use, so process yellow, process blue, cyan, and process red, magenta. These three colours are designed to mix together, like printmaker's primary colours. So if you're just wanting to start out with colour and you want to use these inks, then these are three ones to um, to start with. They do a full range of colours, but these are really good ones for mixing. Um, this ink is um, oil-based, but water washable. So you kind of get all the benefits from a lovely finish from an oil-based ink, and it will stay open on the plate for a very long time and won't dry on your rollers quickly. Um, but you can wash it up with washing up liquid and water so you don't need to use any solvents so that's why I'm using these we use these in the hand printed studio a lot and we have them in the shop of course so I'm going to start off by doing a rainbow roll that goes from magenta through to yellow so I'm just putting a little blob on the top of my plate so I want my um, two dots to be just about within the width of the roller to start and I can add more ink later or scrape some away if I've got too much. I'm going to start by working in strokes to bring down this ink. It looks like I might need to add a little. Okay so you can see here that I've got a line of my magenta and a line of my yellow. This one's been blended out a little bit more because I added a bit more here. Um, so I've got my two lines and a gap in the middle. My objective now is to blend these two lines together and create a mix in the middle, which should sort of be, uh, it should go through a bright um, crimson and then scarlet and then an orange and then go into the yellow is the plan. So um, the way I'm going to do that is keep rolling up and down. I always want my roller to be in this orientation. Obviously, if I start going in different directions, it's going to mix and that's bad. So I'm going to start going slightly left and right as I go up and down to get them to blend. Here we are. So you can keep going um, as far as you like. This is a little tricky to see because my inking plate is super stained but um, you can see that it fades from the yellow all through to the red and then my main blended area is here which is really lovely it's important that every time we ink we have the roller in the same orientation so it picks up ink in the right place so now i'm going to use a smaller roller i'm going to use this little um wire roller that you probably see me use a lot in these videos i use these all the time to do a roll from process blue to process yellow you don't have to use the process colours um, to print. You can go from one colour, from any one colour, to any other colour that you like. Or if you want a colour to fade into nothing, you can go from your original colour to Extender, which is a colourless ink. We're using our primary colours to make secondary colours, but you can start, you can start with any, um, any colours that you like. So I've got blue through green to yellow and a roller that's inked up. The reason I'm showing you on this one is, is um, to demonstrate that you don't have to just go up and down on your print. You can work the roller in different directions. This one is particularly good and we have a, a larger size of this as well um, at hand printed. I think this is a 60 and we have a 90 off the top of my head. Um, so these ones are good because it's really easy to roll round. But you can use any roller to go in a different direction. 
One thing you need to bear in mind is the size of the roller versus the size of the shape that you want, because if your block is larger than your roller, you're going to have to move it around. And whereas that doesn't normally matter, it does matter when we are using a rainbow roll because the placement of the ink in the gradient is important. I'm using this small um, roller on this flower and I'm going to actually, rather than go up and down, I'm going to go round my petals. Which can be a little fiddly. Go roughly round. So now I've got my yellow in the center fading to green and then on the the furthest edges it starts to get a little bit blue because of the size of the roller you can see where it's going to end up as well as inking in the round you can obviously just ink um ink straight so you can um choose a section of your roller with sort of this orangey section and ink up with that so on this flower i've got yellow fading through orange Something else to consider when you're inking in this way is removing some of the ink or adding different colour ink in different areas. That's not something that you would normally do necessarily when inking up a relief print, but you can be a bit more experimental and, and flexible with it. One thing that I like to do sometimes is to use a cotton bud. Um, I like to use the ones with the paper sticks because it's a bit more environmentally friendly. Um, and just remove some of the ink you can be a little bit more painterly with it so just because you're doing a relief print doesn't mean that you have to have completely flat color over all of it so if i just go in and remove a little of the ink i'm just going around in a circle here just removing a little bit from the center of these dog roses you could also if you wanted to use a rag to remove um some ink for some areas if you like to and then what you can do, I'm just going to get a little bit of this yellow, is add some ink in. Okay, so now I've got my dog roses there. I've removed a little bit of ink. I've added a bit more of extra colour. Here I've got my pieces all assembled together on my registration sheet. So I've got a flower that fades from yellow through green. I've got one that goes from yellow through orange and I've inked up um, all the leaf pieces fading. Um, it's You won't be able to see here, but it's quite a subtle fade from black through to blue. And then on this bud here, I've got a little fade through to green as well. So now I can lay my paper over the top and I'm ready to take my print. And now I'm taking, I'm hand burnishing with a spoon. You can use a barren, a press, your hand, a wooden spoon, whatever you have to take your print. So there we have it. I've got my yellow through to my blue with my little yellow in the middle. I've got my orange through to red with my other colours added a bit of um, yellow and a bit of blue in the centre. You can see that these are black and fade to a little bit of blue at the edges and my bud fades to green. So all that colour just from one single print layer. As always, we love seeing what you are getting up to if you do this technique or any of the techniques for the videos or our blogs or just something new. We would love to see what you're up to. So please tag us on Instagram or Facebook. Happy printing!